Hello and thanks for joining. Today's tutorial is going to be a uh, introduction to Photoshop Elements 11 and really it's to help you get started in Elements 11. If you're brand new to Photoshop Elements this will be uh, should be helpful. If you're used to previous versions of Elements uh, this is uh, gives you some of the new um, changes within Elements 11 and then uh, if you're experienced this is probably way too basic for you so Anyways, with that said, I'm going to jump right in here, and I'm going to launch Elements 11. And the first thing that you'll notice is it comes up to this welcome screen. And so on the welcome screen, you've got a couple different options here. You've got your organizer, which is where you can organize, catalog your photos, make, um, make uh, photo albums, uh, share your photos, things like that. And also, um, you can go into the photo editor. So the photo editor is where you go in to edit your photos um, from you know, basic editing to more advanced editing. And then over here, you've got some help files which can um, be, uh, actually can be very good over here. So links to those, some uh, video tutorials and so forth. One thing before, I'm going to go ahead and launch the organizer, but one thing I wanted to point out is if you don't want to get this welcome screen every time, just click the little rotary button up here and there'll be an option to start always on launch um, the photo, ed photo editor or the organizer. We're going to go ahead and just leave it on the welcome screen for now. And I'm going to go ahead and launch right into organizer. And a couple quick things that I want to point out here is the layout of the organizer. So you are going to uh, have um, over on the left you're going to have import options to import your photos. Uh, you're going to have your albums, uh, you're going to have your folders that, that have been created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a quick import and I can import from folders on my computer. Uh, I can import from a camera or card reader from a scanner and uh, other options. So I'm going to go ahead and do from a card reader and what you're going to notice here is there will be a little pull down and I'm going to go ahead and choose. What I've done here is I've inserted a and a uh, SD card, photo card, into my card reader and so that's what's represented um, from that F drive. And then the location, it puts it in the user's directory in the pictures folder and I can click browse and I can change that to another um, location. And there is an option that I'll show you later um, how to change the default location if for some reason you don't want it in that default location. Under create subfolders, the default is to um, leave it as shot date which is year, month, and day. And so it'll create all folders over here by the, um, the year, month, and day of the uh, files. And then you can rename your files if you would like. Uh, we're going to leave it on do not rename, but you can change them to a custom name, shot date, um, today's date, you know, however you want to do that. You can do a shot date plus a custom name. So lots of flexibility there. And then over here, um, it's probably going to come up as a default as after copying delete originals. But what I want to do, I want to change this and say after copying do not delete originals. And that way you can make sure they've imported, make sure there's a clean copy of them before you delete them off your card. 100% up to you. Um, some of these may be imported already, so I'm just going to, we may get an error or two, but I'm going to click get media. And you can see what happened there. It brought in all those, all those files. And you notice over here, it created all these subfolders and so you notice they're organized by date. If you click into the subfolder you'll see the files, the pictures that are taken on those days. So um, handy way to organize your photos. If I go back here to the All Media button in the middle, All Media is going to show you all of your media that's been imported into the um, organizer. And then you'll notice up here um, there's a couple different ways to um, organize your um, your photos. So the media um, tab is going to show you all um, should show you all your media. Then you can go into people tab. We don't have anybody tagged yet, but we can organize by people and tag people and have everyone you know put into this folder. We can go into places and we can tag these on a map and put in where they're where they're located. And then we can also um, organize things, organize photos by events, you know, birthdays, w whatever it may be, vacations or whatever um, topic you choose. On the far um, right here, you're going to see there's going to be a tags column. 
and the tags will be uh, there's some default tags here but you can create your own um, custom tags so there's things like nature color photography you can do family baseball whatever it may be there's also things called smart tags that we'll talk about in future tutorials once you start to tag photos you can then find photos in your cat in your organizer by um, you can find those later by searching for that tag and if you go to information so if I go here to this um, file right here and I go to information it'll give me a little bit of information about it right here it's, there's really not a lot of info about it other than where it's located and the size of it but I can go under metadata and it'll give me more information about it um, I can get the file name which I already know but um, date created date modified I can get the um, settings like the exposure time, the f-stop, the aperture value, um, and in this case this was uh, just a simple um, phone photo. And then if there's, there shouldn't really be a history here, but as you, as you start to um, create history of these files, edits, and so forth, you'll see history information here. So I'm going to go back to tags for a moment, and then what I want to do is I want to share with you a way of doing very minor edits within Photoshop Elements that will let you do very basic editing without having to open the editor. So how I would do that, I would go into Instant Fix here on the bottom right and then you'll notice over here, let me go find the, I've got this picture right here Well, you'll notice this girl has a red eye problem so I'm going to go ahead and click the red eye, find and fix red eye, and you can see it will fix the red eye problem. So an example of a fix, but you can, with the really basic stuff, without having to launch the, the editor, you can do cropping, change contrast, you know, change the color, red eye, sharpen, things like that. So, and there's also a smart fix option that'll do the basic, uh, you know, quick um, basic fixes to the photo. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the, hit the grid button, go back to all media. And I'm just going to point out a couple other things here. So you can do, um, down here on the bottom of the uh, panel, you've got options to um, undo, and then you'll have options to redo. Um, you'll have um, rotate options, you'll have options to add people, add places, add events, and again that, that's going to categorize them into these different um, categories. You can create slideshows, and then you can also launch the editor. So I'm just going to go ahead and launch the editor real quick to show you what it looks like, and then we're going to wrap this first tutorial up here and go into more um, advanced topics in the next tutorials. So when you get into the launch the editor, it's going to default. Um, if you notice it pulled up that picture that I did the quick edit on before. You've got options over here, quick, which is going to be quick fixes, a guided, um, a guided uh, editor, um, which guides you through um, edits, and then expert. Where you, where you will go in and use these tools over here on the left um, and bring up all these tools, options, and edit the photo yourself. And then you've got lots of options over here on your right, and we'll talk about those in future tutorials. So thanks for joining. I hope this helps, and please subscribe if you're interested in these tutorials, and I'll be putting out more to follow. Thanks.